Hello everyone, I'm Geraldine from the Philippines. Thank you so much for giving me this special privilege to talk with you virtually. Our nation is an archipelagic country in Southeast Asia. It is situated in the Western Pacific Ocean and consists of around 7,640 islands that are broadly categorized under three main geographical divisions from north to south, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. It has over 112 million persons in its total population. We recently had an election here on May 9, and our new president is Ferdinand Marcos Jr. More than 30 years ago, his late father, Ferdinand, was the president of our country for 20 years. He was known as a dictator, and he placed our country under martial law during his reign. Many are opposed to this recent landslide win, especially those who were victims during the previous martial law. But for us, as God's people, all we do is to pray and submit to authority. We are located in Mindanao, the second largest island after Luzon. Our churches are located in two regions, Caraga and Davao. The former is where our Church of God in Lingig is located. The latter consists of five provinces where most of our churches are located. First is Dabao de Oro, where we have six churches like Pantukan, Nabontoran, Montevista, Lunganapan, Kaligutan, and Bolyukan. Second is Dabao del Norte, where we have two churches like Tagum and Liguyon. Third is Dabao del Sur, where we have two churches, and that, as, that, is, that are Oraya and Malabo, and one in, Davao de, one in Davao Oriental, where the Church of God in Banaybanay is located. We give thanks for your fellowship in the Gospel, especially, especially to your prayers. In 2021, there were two churches founded here amidst the pandemic time. First was in Bolyukan, where the work started through a crusade. And the second one was in Malabog. The former grows from 23 to 36 saints now, and the latter grows from 31 to 55 now. March this year, along with Brian Johnston, We've conducted a crusade in Alon, about 10 to 15 kilometers from Malabo, still belong to this place. The Lord blessed His word to the hearts of some, and 14 souls were saved, baptized, and added in the local church of God in Malabo. And because of the COVID-19 health protocol of social distancing, still existing in the place. We made a temporary company in Alon last May 15 to satisfy the authority, including the five cents already established in Malabo. 19 of them now are temporarily gathering in Alon. Because of this, many locals in Alon, especially those we had contacted through crusade, were more interested to observe because it is now close to their place. And I see the potential of them to be numbered in this temporary company. Also in the same day, the place called Pandapan is recognized as being the third company in Tagum. It consists of 13 disciples. Work in this place was begun through our crusade with Brian along with his wife Rosemary way back in June 2019. 
last month, it was May, we'd conducted four crusades in Davao. And every Saturday, we invited them to come in our Bible seminar in Uriah, starting at 5 p.m. until 7 p.m. for teaching about the churches of God. We also had a praise time and meal together afterwards. There were 25 persons who responded and attended the seminars. Most of them are already believers, but there are few that we lead to the Lord. Among those whom we led to the Lord was Norma Casundo, a devoted Catholic. She suffers with asthma, and she wished that God may extend her life on her 70th birthday this October. She shared to us that she already prepared for her death. For example, her coffin, expenses for funeral, and her burial. And then she added that she asked God for one thing, and she is begging in it, that God may bring her in heaven when she died, for she didn't know where she would spend eternity. We told her that she can be 100% sure to know about the salvation now through his words. When she heard that, she got her paper and ball pen to take note all of the verses we shared because she would read them later. It's a rare to see a devoted Catholic here reading the Bible, but she's different. She carefully listened to us and immediately wrote John 3.16, John 5.24, and 1 John 5, 12 to 13, that we shared with her. And then she responded to the urgent appeal to repent and believe the good news. As we guided her through the sinner's prayer, her tears genuinely, genuinely flowed from her eyes until we were finished. After that, we saw a joy in her face. Another separate contact we had, not from crusade, is Billy Kotal. While Norma wants her life to be extended, only a week ago, Billy attempted to take her life. When her grandmother noticed it in her post in Facebook, she suddenly asked me to go with her to preach to this 23-year-old. It was apparent that it's because of depression. She had problems and that's why she wanted to take her life. We shared with her Deuteronomy chapter 30 verses 15 to 20 and we emphasized verse 19 to choose life. Jesus came to give us abundant life, the eternal life, and this is the greatest thing for us to possess, not things on earth which are all temporal. Then she asked us to guide her for the sinner's prayer, and when we did that, her voice suddenly changed into a shaky tone, and her tears flowed like Norma, because she was feeling so sorry for her sins. After that, we explained to her verse 20 of Deuteronomy chapter 30 about the purpose of our life. By loving God, obeying His voice, and holding fast to Him. The next morning, she, she chatted her grandmother to say thank you for lead, leading her in that kind of prayer. She said that was the first time she experienced that, and she said that after that, the burden in her heart became ease, and her mind was enlightened. Two days later, she and her partner, along with their three-year-old son, observed 
the breaking of the bread in Uriah. So, please continue to pray for these contacts. I have many things to say, but it seems time would not permit it. We believe that your prayers have a great impact for the extension on God's house in our part of the world. We highly appreciate them. God bless you all.